Welcome back, everybody, to Sanity Lost, uh, the podcast where you can't cheat because then I'll lie. Huh. Well, you can. Anybody can cheat. Especially the way but... we play. You don't. You don't <laughs> ask for Fudge dice all those receipts. Dice rolls. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> now he will. But <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well no sure, if I f- I feel that if if I felt like you guys were cheating, I would just cheat worse. <laughs> I mean that is fair. I think that's a fair way to balance that. I think so. It would be fun in a way to actually have a uh, dice camera for each of us though. That would It'd just be, be cool. kind of a pain. I was born in pain. <laughs> you were molded by it, merely adopted. <laughs> something, something pain. Um, it seems like my dogs might be joining our um, stream tonight. They are very unhappy about something. So, you know, sorry about that in advance. Well, let's give them a character sheet. Yeah, <laughs> they have something to say, so they might as well just join. <laughs> yeah, it's saying, like, okay. Do you have something to share with the class? You guys mm-hmm. absolutely know Deli would like collect animal companions and keep them with her. <laughs> absolutely, she would. More than Cora, who literally had an animal companion and then instantly forgot that it existed. <laughs> yeah. Well, Timmy became more important than the dog. I think we initially thought the dog, this sounds terrible, was going to be more important than Timmy, and it wasn't. So. You know, the dog just never existed. <laughs> dog just wandered. Oh no, off that dog existed. Cared. Yeah. <laughs> the dog is Theodore. <gasps> wow. That would be the most incredible way to end this whole thing. <laughs> and that that's it for so Lost happy. today. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. We have. There's nothing more to say. <laughs> that's Perfection. the end of the series. Perfection. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, not really. We We're just kidding. <laughs> Keep listening. <laughs> that's, the, that's the end of the series. Uh, and some may be asking, what happened to Percy? Um, oh, he exploded. <laughs> I dropped dice oh, all over the place. I was going to say, what are you doing? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> yeah, because hopefully when all the audio gets mixed together, uh, my dice rolls and none of the players can hear. Nope. No. So, no, we cannot. Um uh, No, I had I had an idea for a fun starting topic and then I forgot it. So Okay, how many times does this happen? Um at least once. Cuz I forgot all the other times that it happened. <laughs> Yeah. I, I don't like to look into the past. I like looking you know, in the future if and this, forgetting that those exist. If too. this podcast had a drinking game, you forgetting your opening topic would be one of the things that we drink over. Oh, God, no, that would be terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> no, if we want to make it real terrifying, we can say, okay, every time the, the DM says like. I mean... <laughs> That's too keeper. easy though, because we yeah. All well, have I those. wanna look. I need souls to power this, and <laughs> look if saying that and sacrificing uh, are the ears of the listening and viewing audience. You it's, just want uh, them to be drunk the whole time they listen to this. It might be better. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, maybe. What about John? What about, what about what John? About, yeah. <laughs> what about John? What about John? What about John? You know that'd be another one. Oh, yeah, that's I, true. I, I was just going to say... I don't yeah. have the uh, right accent every, anymore. I, every, when I was every, much, much younger. Every time John gets distracted and isn't paying attention, no. you drink. No, uh, no, no. Yeah. John. The, uh, the Philly John. Oh, oh John. John! Yeah, there you go. Like I said, I can't. I don't have the right accent John. anymore. When I was yeah, you gotta, when I was you gotta, a kid, you gotta yes. draw it out like yawn. Gone. When I was a kid, I had the right accent. I don't have that anymore. I have a mix of all the coasts. Now you're a hippie. Oh my gosh! Now we're not on the same page at all, and I don't no. know what we're talking about. You're so, welcome. You know, uh, it, it's the uh, sanity lost drinking game, where you too can lose your sanity. 
Because you don't know what so, you're drinking for. You're just drinking the whole time. <laughs> well, you know what? I remembered what my topic was. Yes. So. You just need chaos to be able to, like, you need us to be thoughts. chaos so that you can organize. The, yeah. the thing is, it. so the funny thing is with doing the Pathfinder game, that's all pre-written, which is good and everything. Um, I just looked over and saw how quiet my mic is. And the recording stuff. Anyway, that's a future problem. Um, <laughs> and here's my brain. Oh, quiet, Mike. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I don't but, know uh, where we're going tonight. <laughs> but, yeah, so pretty much uh, all that stuff is, like, pre-written and everything, which it, it is interesting to know, and I think it helped me, like, uh, take a drink, set up everything <laughs> um, to pretty much figure out uh, a, a way to tell stories differently than I used to. But after that first session, I don't, I, I, it's, it was, I already knew this, but it was very clear. I'm much more of here's the guidelines and improv the thing. So I need to make, find out how I can do the guidelines and do that with a pre-written adventure because um, yeah, it's, it's just different, but that's not what I wanted to talk about. Mm -hmm. What what I wanted to talk about was, um, I've been eating a lot of spam lately. Uh oh, what? I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is On that a Sunday night spam night. Yeah. That, uh... Yeah. We're doing the spam trials, and I am getting the every single trial. version of spam. Wait, there's more than what? Hold, hold up. <laughs> <What>? Show and tell. <laughs> I was going to say, there's, of course, you, we were just talking about how there's a million stupid Oreo flavors. Of course, there's okay. a million spam flavors. No, no. At least at least Oreos what? make sense. They're desserts. You can put different flavors. Spam is... Okay. Is, so oh that, Now, here's my favorite one that I've seen so far, which I know, uh, I know you have that one there, Payne, is the, the spam with bacon. I was going to say, I'm sure it's like various... <laughs> That's <meat>. next week. <laughs> Spam right. with real right. Hormel bacon. It's, just, it's gonna so be you have... yeah, spam mixed with like various meat flavors. Yes. This past Sunday, I had hot and spicy spam, which that's actually pretty good. Mm. Okay. Spam is actually spam. not terrible. Like you, uh, yeah. you like cook it up, and it tastes pretty good. Yeah. Pretty much what we're doing is uh, trying to find out what the best spam is. So we, because you can eat it out of the can, as is, because it's already cooked. Yep. So we're trying it cold, hot. And then marinated, mm. uh, and are you then whatever one. Marinating it in the same thing every time, or are you changing the marinade? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I was gonna yeah. say because if you change it, then that messes up the experience. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. So this is the other one that I have here. Twenty-five percent less, less sodium. sodium. Right, uh. because eating spam is gonna give you like a heart attack from the amount of salt. Probably yeah, like five thousand milligrams of salt. Whoo, in those. This past week, I realized that I looked down on the can and I saw that it was like there's six servings in the can. I'm like, <laughs> that would explain why I'm just like <laughs> oof, retaining by the all end of the water. water. <laughs> so, six servings. So, yeah. So. I, I were like, okay, we're going to lower these servings going forward, and I'm just going to save them and find something to do with them. And everyone's like, please. <laughs> but you know what, Elizabeth? Hmm. Get, get, roll me okay. uh, a die. Or if you just have the, the D100. Yeah. Odds or evens. I have to pick. Um, like, tell me tell me the results of, of oh, your roll. What the odds or evens. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, the left one's going to be odd. The right one's going to be even. Odd. 43. Last one is odd. So, we have maple, maple flavored flavoring. No. no, 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 no. You know what's real no, fun I, I on the see, back? They I have pictures working. of like what you can do with them. I can see. I okay. So here's the thing, right? Like, yes, people eat this spam. one's a BLT. Yeah, there's there's five. They eat it for breakfast. Five hundred seventy milligrams per serving. Oh. I thought you were going to tell me there were 570 different flavors of spam, oh, and no, I no, was no. going you know. to lose was my like, mind. <laughs> it's only 180 I was like, no. calories, oh though. my gosh, 180 calories, do you said? Yeah, for two ounces. So 570, 
I mean, six. that's close to like. I think it's about 3,000. It's over 3,000. No, 3, it's more per than that. It's over 3,000. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and here's okay, the last meatball. one that I have in in my apartment, which is just a little oven roasted turkey. Blah. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Which, according to somebody in my stream, said this is the best one cold. So okay, is that it's one just actually... like congealed turkey mush. I mean, it's probably just flavoring, right? Like, no, no, it's. I can read the ingredients on are it. They it's adding a... the actual like other meats. Yep. In with ingredients: it? turkey, turkey okay. broth, right. salt modified potatoes. Wait, is there a comma in there? Nope, that's all one sentence. Salt modified <laughs> potato starch, sugar, sodium, phos phosphates, dextrose, and sodium nitrate. So it's turkey instead of ham. Interesting. Yeah, that's all it is, and it's all already. It's all roasted and cooked, so it's like... Right. Okay, it says there's only 15 flavors. How many yeah. do you have? Four, and I've done three already. So, seven? Okay, yeah, are the, you doing yeah, all 15 ones? Teriyaki? Have you done the teriyaki one? No, the only ones I've done was hot and spicy, spam light, and spam original. Well, there's just a chorizo one, and then there's a teriyaki yes. one. Yep. Okay, people like spam way too much. No, thank you. <laughs> there's Monty Have Python you songs tribute with a uh, tribute to spam. Yeah. Yep. It's it's the same to me as. Um, Hello Kitty. What? <laughs> no. Did I did I still? As um, oh man. <laughs> Bam, bam, See, this bam, is the bam, problem. Bam, 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 yeah, bam, I know what bam. you're saying. What's the? Spamity <laughs> spam, the spamity spam. What's the? I don't like it. That's Elizabeth right now. <laughs> yeah, that is me. What is the? Um, what's the meat that like Southern people like? Delaware is big for it. Um, right. No. Pork roll. Scrapple. Scrapple. Oh, hold spam on. and scrapple. That's like a, a Pennsylvanian spam. thing. No. No. I heard... Spam is nothing like scrapple. Did... No, Did I hear yeah, that right? it isn't. Did I hear Southern people, Delaware? Is that what I heard? <laughs> yes. Delaware yes. is wannabe Southern. There are yes, a lot of is. people that live in Delaware that think they are like <laughs> They're Southern. South it's of weird. the border. It's weird. Well, it's very the weird. The only nice thing about yeah. Delaware is that it's tax free to shop there. I grew My up there. That's that was the same thing. when I, uh, I was existed there. When I lived in New Hampshire, I was also uh, or sales tax free. Yeah. But no, uh, Delawareans um, really like to think that they are like backwoods, like Southern no people. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah. So. So does the middle of Pennsylvania. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, so yeah. Sure. yeah. 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 No, so Scrapple and Spam are like essentially in the same categories in my brain, like manufactured <laughs> squishy meat. Um, <laughs> That's the. I think that's what everybody <laughs> has done to spam, because scrapple literally is all the waste product mm -hmm. <laughs> from the meat. Yeah. That they're just like yeah. Scoop it up in there. It's basically like spam is actually like. Yeah. It it's all cuts of meat. Like it's actual. <laughs> it's not like the waste product. Yeah. But it's canned meat. Like yeah. Canned I mean. Canned meat. <laughs> so is tuna. I don't like tuna either, so that doesn't so work sardines. for me. So with sardines. You know what? Like no. Humans. <laughs> you have canned human? As I far as you know. the seventh. <laughs> you seventh, the seventh. You mean the fifth? Yep. I got to go up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need five reasons to explain this. It takes more than that. <laughs> that's, that's not what I mean at all. <laughs> It all is right. now. <laughs> okay, I don't well, you know, know what you guys we're doing need today, now. But it's, it's be time wild. for seven reasons because let's click. Let's do this one. Did you share the sound? <gasps> you did. We can hear it. Man. The joys of forgetting what all the music sounds like. Why do you have to start off week? spooky? I mean, we are at because the top of the stairway to a cellar, so, you know. Exactly, because last week you guys decided to take a nice magical walk through the forest. <laughs> I um, mean, we were walking through the forest either way, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Until you came 
you know, pretty much you guys found a map. You decided, hey, which way do we want to go? Deli believes that she knows which way the map uh, connects with. So she's like, let's do this. And everyone's like, okay. And you guys decided to go to the cave. Well, following the map as it becomes more and more uh, apparent that this trail that is very overgrown from the years uh, does lead to a cave, but it is not a natural cave. It is a root cellar that you guys have gone down into as I mute my phone to make sure I don't get any more text messages. <laughs> um, and at the top of it, I believe it was David getting ready to go down mm -hmm. uh, as he gets um, just the most uh, a whiff of some rank smells down there as he begins to point down as there's some rustling in the back. David. What is David thinking right now? Like, you guys have been in some... He's been in some adventures, especially with uh, Delhi and before with the... I almost said COVID. With Centralia. Um, don't worry, that's coming soon. Uh... What is um? What's he What's he thinking about this? Because uh, this is a little bit different than your normal cases. So I think at the moment, David is with the smell and everything. David is mostly just trying to stay as focused as he possibly can to kind of like as much razor point ignore the smell as possible, and hopefully not it really does not want to end up blowing his what he's not really thinking of specifically as a cool factor but like just not wanting to show weakness to this third party that has joined their uh, quest here and does really mm. not want to throw up or anything like that and is going to you know basically say hey cover me and and just like keep light down the keep a light down the hall of this place so that nothing can wants to have as good a visibility on if anything starts to move or anything like that at the end of the hallway as he's going down mm -hmm. yep okay so you're at the bottom of the stairs now i yeah i guess uh bottom of the stairs looking down this hallway cautiously okay. working forward towards the the first pair of doors or openings so what about the other two were you guys um well Deli was be? like with him so she would be following him with a flashlight over his shoulder scarf around her neck or her face Okay. How about Hank? Are you up top? Or are you going down as well? Um, just to just to let you guys know, like to help you picture, it is there's not a lot of room, so like you guys almost have to go single file. That's kind of what uh, I pictured. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can follow from the rear. I'll probably or Hank will probably wait like a, a little bit just to give like a little bit of space um so he's not gonna like follow right on their heels uh but yeah i will also win out okay so Caleb, as you move forward you are now met with the first intersection um which are kind of just two small hollows that are like kind of carved out. Like it, you could tell that there was impressions, but now it's it's not. It doesn't go that deep. Um, but yeah, it's they're made out of like it's like packed dirt with uh, maybe like some like lumber to reinforce the walls and stuff. Um, yeah, and well, do you have the light or because you can't see in there unless you have light. I have, uh, so I think both Deli and I have a flashlight. 
Like, okay. David has David has a flashlight and his gun drawn, looking through the uh, kind of moving the flashlight around to try and keep a uh, a view. All right. Yep. So, as you move back there, the first two, it's kind of like just shelves that are just pushed back a little bit. Um. And is there anything of note uh, visible in the on these shelves or anything? Um. On the left one, you see that there's two glass bottles that are. They're, they're, they're dark. Um, they're kind of... It You don't have enough light and stuff to to really inspect it. It looks like there's a label on there, but it's definitely faded with time mm -hmm. and stuff. Does it look like there's but, anything uh, in them? Oh, yeah. There's, there's something... There's things in both of them. It's a liquid. Right, so uh, David's gonna leave those where they are for the moment. Okay. Um, not yeah, wanting that to, was like on. Not wanting to like have more things to deal with, and you know, possibly noting them to possibly grab some on the way out to inspect further. Yeah. So that was on the the right side. Uh, on the left side, there was nothing. Oh, that was on the uh, right. Okay. Yep. Um, and then, yeah, you you go as you continue to move back. Um, let's see. I need everyone that's in here. Um, you know, this is something I forgot to ask. Are you guys being quiet while you walk down here? Yeah. 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 Alrighty. Hit the. The guy may be in here, right? So Yeah. Someone, something's in here. Well, everyone that's in the place. Give me stealth rolls. <sighs> oh, that is a four under fifty six. Nice. Uh mine is a seventeen under fifty. Uh mine okay. unfortunately is a fifty one over thirty two. I don't no have doubt. enough. I know. I'm sorry. I can't All right. lock that one. Is there any, with, given the level of success for David, is there anything David can be doing to quiet Delhi's movement as well? <laughs> to no, helping that path. But that. Nope. But Delhi could push a roll or just see what happens. <laughs> Yeah, this one feels really risky because if I push it and fail, then we're in real trouble. Potentially. I'm, I mean, we have suspicions, but... Well, I mean, if I fail it, then there's going to be consequences for sure. I don't know. Do you guys want me to push it? So if Deli pushes it, I, I kind of imagine just kind of the, the situation here being like, as they're going down the stairs, Deli's foot catches on something and kind of like makes a little bit of a clanking noise or something like that. And maybe David looks back and like, uh, or something like that and like shines a flashlight around her feet or something like that too. Like, you know, be careful and you know, super quiet, like or whisper, directed whispers or something like that to, to help her Maybe be quieter. <laughs> Not intentionally stomping no, around. It's like <laughs> Flash forward to last session. <laughs> my name is Deli and I have teeth in my pocket. <laughs> Don't forget the acid taps. I also have a bunch of acid. Yep. <laughs> okay, I'm not I'm not gonna risk it. That feels way too risky right now, so I will take the fail. Okay. So I like trip so, on something and like knock into mm -hmm. David and like make a noise. Yeah. So like there's a little bit of scuffling and stuff and maybe the you just like stepped on one of the steps just in the right way where it made like a slight creak. And you guys hear like 
the movement in the back, but uh, nothing really seems to be happening. Okay, so we still hear that, like, rustling. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. Okay. And so, as you guys kind of creep down farther, let me look this. I need to make sure, because I know what this... I just want to make sure I know what this means. Uh, hmm. I'm trying to think. Um. There's not, because this is smelly down here. So, and it's it's starting to get to you guys, and so I want to make sure. I think a power roll to like resist like kind of gagging or or coughing from from this from just the the strong odor that is definitely getting stronger as you move farther back. Okay, I got a fifteen under forty five. Uh, David got a fifty under sixty five. Uh, I got a 93 over 50. Oh, gosh. Okay. So, wait, 93 over? Is that what you said? Yeah, 93 yeah. over 55. So, 40. Do, do you want to push that? <laughs> it's going to start vomiting everywhere. I know. Uh, Yeah, I could try. I mean, I got one kind of 50 50 shot. <laughs> All right, that is a 43 under 55. There you go. See, nothing wrong. <laughs> yeah, so maybe you felt like a tickle in the back of your throat, but then, like, yeah. It's like when that, like, you know, Stifled when, like, it. you get reflux and, like, it comes up into your mouth, but you, like, catch it and just, oh, yeah. like, <laughs> swallow it back down before it makes any noise. That's my favorite. <laughs> Hey, okay. it tasted good going in and spicy back up. Ugh. Um. <laughs> anyway, no. So you guys uh, resist my my uh, smelly test. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, David, as you get closer, you see two kind of looks like makeshift. Uh, not doors. They're sorry, and not makeshift. It's like old kind of fabric or blankets that are over these two openings uh, in the back. Um, and if you if you listen, um, it's very clear that on as I read my notes on the right, that's where the sound is coming from. Okay, so what would you like to do? So Deli like touches Hank's shoulder and like leans in and she goes On the count of three? Um Hank <laughs> kinda just gives like a Alright. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> so Alright, so for the audience, what is happening on the count of three? Yeah, so she says that, and then she, like, reaches out to, like, grab the fabric. So she's essentially saying she's going to, like, rip the the curtain away on the count of three. And uh, so Hank now also has his hand, his gun drawn. Okay. So which, right. side, are, which side is Deli The right side. The where, the, okay. where the noise is, yeah. All right, so now are you just squeezing in kind of in the same space as David? Or I mean, are you I'm... pushing David back? Like, there's not, there's, yeah. it's the it's same thing. There's not a lot like of room. single file. Yeah. 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 yeah like, I you guys are at the end now. I mean, right. we're essentially all going to have to, like, run in. Right? I mean, Is we're it... going to stand there. I mean, we're, uh, we're, 
depending on I, how I, deep I'm just trying to figure like, out where everybody is. So do we know if there's like a, does this open up into another room or we don't know? We don't know. It so. looks like, it, yeah, it, it's deeper than the little closets that were there earlier because you can hear movement a, a little bit farther beyond. Okay, so, so let's just say that Deli like squeezes in front of David. So and David she... is, David's gonna, like seeing Deli kind of reaching for the, for the blanket curtain doorway, David's going to crouch and have his gun aimed low uh, in towards the room. Because mm -hmm. David, like here, the sounds are not like entirely clear what it is. And he's thinking, he still thinks there's a large possibility that this is an animal that's in here and wants to be low to if there is if it is something besides an animal but also be aimed to deal with an animal that potentially feels threatened and comes at them mm -hmm. okay so it'll be deli david hank I okay. do not like whatever that facial expression was you just made, Dave, was not great. Not great. Not going to lie. I mean, is it any worse than the, I think I'm gonna please die. push. I think, I think that's, what, that's what his face said, is that I am going to die. Countdown. <laughs> oh, God. Is it a little bit more intense that the music is now yeah, muted? Yeah, I was going to say, why is there no music? Um, so Dolly's standing at the curtain. She like gently uh, grabs it, and then she just quietly counts one, two, and on three she like rips. She like pulls it back. Okay, one second. Oh my gosh. I need the book for this. Oh one. my gosh. Because. Let's see. Here's the other fun thing because I forgot to set up the next song. Let's just hope this one's good. No, that doesn't get the same effect. I know this one's good. We used this before. Mm -hmm. Because between the noises and everything of coming down here, Deli, you rip open the, that curtain and maybe shine your light in there as you are now face to face with a large black bear. <gasps> no, no, no. And it's pissed. Oh, <laughs> so, what, uh, so what I need is are you fighting? It's a little bit disoriented. Yeah. So are you fighting or are you running to get away? Uh, what? Can we fight a black bear in a tiny little cave? No, we need to run. I mean, how fast can we move back through the tunnel? We at least need to get out. If we're going to fight it, we can't do it inside. Well, it's a black bear. Mm -hmm. I mean, black bears are usually scared of humans. If you bake a bunch of... But it's of... trapped. We need to get mm -hmm. out. We need to get out. I mean, we could just start blasting. I, <laughs> That's up to you. I have a small pis uh, a pistol. That is not going to be... That's not going to do much to a black bear besides piss it off. Okay, so it's disoriented for like a hot second. So Deli, like locks what this is and like takes a step back into David and she's just like run 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 and, all like, right turns around and with that it's time for a chase <laughs> all right let's see I'm but just gonna read through the rules of the chase so that way <laughs> make sure we do it right okay if the fleeing character is significantly faster than his opponent, escape is likely. Leaving the pursuer far behind, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, speed roll. Let's roll just the movement. Um, Going so back see. to that shelf that uh, was had the bottles on it, 
Was that like mm -hmm. a built into the wall or is that like a shelf that was just placed there? The shelf was built into the wall. Damn. And it was part of the root <laughs> cellar. Yeah. Alright. So what's everyone's move? Nine. Nine. Let's see. Okay. Where is move? Under combat. Is under combat. Uh, mine is six. Oh Ooh. gosh. He's at I'm the back. old. You're not. You're not that much older than us. I mean, I'm old enough that it took a significant hit to my movement rate. Okay, so the D's or are. Maybe it's ba is movement nine. based on dexterity because my dexterity is yeah. not great. Oh, okay. Then yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So. This, blah, blah, blah. and then Hank. Yeah, Hank is a six. All right. So speed roll. The movement reading for the duration. Every vehicle. There is no vehicle. Every character has a movement reading. Vehicle. Blah blah blah. While the characters put them in a physical condition. Each participant in the chase makes a con roll. Uh, to test his or her physical condition and endurance. Um, it says... Yeah, so on a success, uh, no change on the extreme success, you get the plus one for the duration of this chase. On a failure, you get a negative one. What about a hard right. success? <laughs> Not a, nothing it's, special? Doesn't, nothing special. <clears throat> you just don't take the negative. David got Which a 23 under 55 for that con roll. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I got a 42 under 60. Uh, I have a 18 under 49. Nice, that's also a hard. So, yeah, no, nobody gets, er, everyone has the same thing. Okay. Cool. So, the chase. All right, so. This is what we're going to do. Um, you guys all in there, maybe from Delhi's Calling uh, and everything, you guys are able to pretty much get to the top of the stairs. Okay? You guys are, are okay. there. So um, we're out of the root cellar, essentially. Yes, yeah, so you're at the top of the stairs. Um, but then now <laughs> you hear the bear has... Pretty much, um, yeah, so pretty much has, uh, now, like, you hear it roar as it's getting ready to, to come after you. Um. Okay, so in that split second, Deli looks between David and Hank, and she's, she's like, because her plan was just to get out of, like, the bear's going to eat my face. We're not in Bear's Gonna Eat My Face. And so she just yep. looks at them and she's like, are we fighting or are we running? Uh, you guys are gonna have to decide Now, quick. yeah. Yes, no no talking. I need it now because it's gonna determine whether what's gonna happen. We you guys to, take too long, you're gonna run out of a choice. We need to get out of the area and David is going to just start pushing everybody to start moving back down the trail and right, so we're running. be looking over his shoulder for the bear to come out of the the root cellar as they're running starting to move away okay all right mm -hmm. so um just making sure I'm just, I'm just making sure I understand the chase correctly. Uh, okay. So, here we go. Let's. So, this is where you guys are. And. 
Here we go. So for people who are at home, or, or well, any there, I have I drawn some some dots on there. <laughs> Pretty much, your goal is to get to the end of the dots. Okay. Okay. To to escape before bear catches up, and then we'll. So B, I assume, is where the bear's at. Yep, B is bear. And then we and G are... G is group. G. G is group. Once you guys start... Um, pretty much... Uh, uh, yeah, once you guys start... Um, splitting off, then we'll, we'll do that. Let's see. Looking for... So, we have that. Um, okay, movement actions. He's character gives a number of movement points per round. Movements are what they used to move. Faster characters get more than the slower. So, uh, every character. Blah, blah, blah. All right. So, um, every character gets. Everyone gets at least one by default. And this is added. Um, to the difference in the move rating. So the slowest will have one move action um, and then pretty much going higher with that. So, uh, just double checking here. Cool. So, and then the last thing is, um, yeah, so Harvey is gonna have one point and then since you guys are tied, you have two move actions. Yeah, Hank the, has the one. Ds. Hank has one. Delia and David have two. Okay. And then... How many does the bear see, have? Just, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do worry about it a lot. <laughs> don't worry. I have a plan. And... All right, so we essentially have to survive four rounds. Okay, so... So, as they're starting to move away, David's like, I've got a plan, just keep moving. And you see David just start to focus as he's looking over his shoulder, waiting for the bear to show up. Mm -hmm. So... The thing is, here are the actions that you guys can do during the chase round, okay? So you guys can move. You guys can initiate one attack, uh, cast a spell, or as we've been saying, a rune, or perform some other action, which as you guys get farther, depending on how as you guys go, uh, might come up. So, with that. Okay. Um... I'm just making sure. Let's see. I'm just making sure that uh, I am doing turns correctly. Uh. Okay. Yep. So. Uh, David Deli. Uh. Just determine who's going first now. And that's how it's going to be for the rest of the round. Uh, okay. the rest for the turn. David can go first. That's fine. All right. So, David, go ahead. So, is the, is the bear visible yet? Uh, no, you just hear it growling. Like, it's roaring. Just, like, just getting it's getting ready to chase so with that in mind david's gonna keep moving but not be he's not gonna leave he's not gonna go faster than hank is able to go at this point we're not mm -hmm. in the uh we're not in a zombie situation yet where you you only have to be faster than your the uh right people yeah with you. <laughs> Right. And David's still so, uh, watching, 
So as they're they're moving, David's still watching for the bear to become visible. So are you just staying there or are you moving forward? I'm moving with while watching for the bear to show up. Is basically the idea. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so are you moving your two movement points or just one? Uh just one because I don't want to leave Hank behind. I was gonna say, I okay. think he's staying with the group. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um Now I remember how to do it. Just, there we go. All right. So here we go. Freestyle. Here we go. It's David Winters. Lockhart. Wait, you moved us back a point. I'll fix it. <laughs> One sec. Don't take away our progress. <laughs> Now you're cheating. <laughs> Time to redraw that H because it won't want to move the way it should. There we go. Hey. So, Winters, you're staying with the group? Yeah, I'm, we're basically moving together at this point. Okay. So are you, is, it, is everyone just going to move the one move with Hank? Well, I was going to ask, can Deli use her second action or first action to, like, push Hank forward and, like, propel him an extra spot? No. <laughs> <laughs> or, like, like that's only a few. Him. Like, this is, can like... Can we get, like, one and a half if she uses her other action to, like, try to make him move faster? <laughs> No. <laughs> no. None Come of your on. D&D you make said, it up as you, you go. Said, <laughs> listen, he said perform other action. So... Um, but yeah, I mean, Deli's not going to leave them. So if... Yeah, if they're staying, then she's also staying. If... Um, so Do you want to know the example they're using for perform another action? <laughs> that sure. It says requiring time and perhaps a dice roll. AKA picking a lock, not dragging your teammates. I don't know, you, <laughs> right, could, you yeah. could ask me to run or uh, do a strength roll if you wanted to see if I can push him. Uh, I, um, I feel like that's just going to cause us more problems yeah, though. Don't, yeah, don't like, punch me. These dots, these, <laughs> these dots <laughs> are like, like think of it like, a, like 30 feet apart, okay? Sure. So it's like you're, it's like a, a pretty much a you can a absolutely score. make someone run faster than they normally would if you are pushing or pulling them that is a real life thing thank you very much or know, a I very short distance, them, just imagine them. <laughs> sure but a at least for, I could get our case. going a little bit further um okay so then Delhi is going to <clears throat> move her one with the group and well I already have my weapon out um, so yeah, she'll just hold. Right. Also, like, so looking Hank, for what the bear. You... Hank, are you going with everybody yeah, else? Yeah, I mean, I'm just moving at the moment. Okay. I have I have some fallback ideas if I need to, but we'll see how it goes. I have a plan. I don't know if it'll work, but I have a plan. <laughs> That's why David is watching for this bear to show itself <laughs> at this point. So, technically, if I'm reading this right, I'm just making sure. Okay, I think it's just. So what I'm like quickly scanning through just to make sure that. Um. Any, okay, cool. So, the bear it roars and. On it said it had some. I just got to double check. There's a lot of things to double check to make sure I'm not gonna ruin this. Okay, it tears out and is that? Oh well, now I got it. You know what? There we go. I'm gonna redraw the B. 
Uh, but it is now right next to you guys. All right, we can't. This is not gonna. It's not gonna go well. So, as, as the bear is coming out of the the cellar, David would be completing the cast of pin to pin the bear where it where it is. All right. So the idea well, is basically, as it comes out, it's getting pinned the moment that he can see it. Okay, well that's going to be on this next round, so you'll have one movement turn after that. Okay. So, well, you know the rune rule, so give me that rune rule. <laughs> Wow, that is a 16 <laughs> for the uh, power roll. Okay. Uh, 16 under 65. Not quite extreme, but it is a hard success on that. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, it's stuck there. At least it, it looks like it's not moving. And then I guess you're moving to one. Yep, then it'd be move with the group on the for the rest of it. <clears throat> All right, Deli, what are you doing? I will leave the bear seeing David cast the rune. She's not going to do anything to mess that up, so she's just going to move. One or two? One. Hank? So... Can Hank attempt to climb a tree? Are you kidding me? Yeah, we you are can. staying with you. Black I know. I am letting trees, you go, you dummy. Because I can defend from a up in a tree better. The bear is going to follow you up a tree. It might, but I have a gun. I can shoot at it. Oh my gosh, this is the worst <laughs> fight ever. <laughs> Yeah, All right, give I'm, a climb check. I'm going to do a climb check. So I have one of my skills. My climb is 50. Thought that would be useful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that is a 66 over 50. I will push that with luck. You are? All right. Yeah. I'm so now mad know. at you right now. I'm <laughs> now we know so how mad Hank got. Now we know how Hank uh, got through the Lehigh Valley Bridge that wasn't finished. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna move Hank right here to so, show that he's on top of a tree. Like Sixteen. Is... Oh my gosh. All right. Let's so see. as the... this is happening, as like, as Deli like sees Hank running for for a tree. She's just, everything that just came out of my mouth as a player <laughs> is coming out of Deli's mouth at Hank. Like, she is oh. so mad right now. Let's Hank is see. unfazed. <laughs> Bear is going to break free. Oh my gosh. It's going to try to break free again. If, um... If this bear kills us because of you, Hank, Deli will come back and haunt you forever. <laughs> All right. So the bear is still in its spot. Um, oh, thank goodness. I, um, David, what are you doing? <laughs> um, so after casting this rune and moving what he thought was with the group, but then seeing Hank peel off, David's going to yell up to Hank, use the radio, call for help, we're running, and just, like, kind of shake his head and just tear off running, De uh, dragging Deli nice. along with him. Hank is going to die in a tree. How long I does know. that <laughs> there's not... work? No, there's nothing we can do. I will leave you. <laughs> I, I will leave Hank in All right, so you're moving the two as well? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Hank, what are you doing? Uh, am I in the tree now? Yeah, you're in the tree. All right, I'm going to... I am going to attempt to cast Shane to oh. hide myself. All right. So Give the rune roll. 
All right, so do I have to roll on my power first? Yeah. I just forget how yep. to do this. Yes. Yeah, so uh, you're gonna roll power, and then depending on the outcome, it will. All right, that is a seventy. Pretty much, you don't want to fail. Over fifty-five. Hmm. All right, so you're gonna just take one d6 of sanity damage, but you still do the you still do whatever it was intended. Uh, of course, for anyone is a six. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Um, yeah, that's... you might be going temporarily insane because yeah, that, that was five points the... at once. Yeah. I believe the rules are roll intelligence, and if you you want to fail this roll because you don't fully comprehend the the whole situation. But if you pass your intelligence check, you um, fully understand what the situation happening. that you're in, right. and you are going to take the full effect. All right. Well, that is a 32 under 70. <laughs> Neat. <laughs> Let's bring up the sanity table. Oh bring up gosh. the sanity table. up the sandy table. Hey, there it is. Whoop de doo doo. There it is. We'll give you a short term. All right. Give me a D one hundy. Just our normal roll, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. And then I'll tell you what happens on the table that we have here. Uh, that is an 89. 89. Character falls into a stupor. You... It says, assumes uh, the fetal position oblivious to events around you. So, you know, I'll say, like, you... Pretty much, uh... So... Yeah. Do I successfully You're... cast Shade? Yes. Right. Shade is, is successfully attack, uh, attacked, uh, casted, but the you are... The strain of it essentially puts me into a... Yes. You, you... For the... Yeah, for right now, you you ain't doing anything else to defend yourself. Yeah, I'm, I'm hidden, but I am essentially out of it. So he also did not radio back that we need nope. help. No, I did not. It's okay. If you guys remember last time, he tried to radio and, and <laughs> thought he an sent the message. Yeah, but, uh, so we're already we down that to, path. Like, take him off this All plan. right. So the bear, it's going to move. Because it is now getting a little bit dark. And so let's see. Um... You guys see it, like, kind of sniffing the air. And it's sniffing, sniffing. And then the bear eventually goes back towards the inside of the cave. Or the, the cellar. As I'm assuming you two keep going. <laughs> Hank is still drooling. <laughs> and we'll find out what is happening as dusk begins to fall oh my god over the valley this is a disaster and with that we'll see y'all next week uh, <sighs> yep. that's bye, that one about everybody. like i expected goodbye <laughs> goodbye <laughs> goodbye bear uh, goodbye hank because we're never seeing hey, Hank again. Hey, Hank, where are you? He's going to live forever. Did you call for help yet? <laughs> he just gives a thumbs uh. up. <laughs> While still shaded so we can't even see it. That you can't it. see, yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.